All right, before I put on mascara and everything, this is what the two different eyes look like. Welcome to my channel. Today we have another video with the 35XO Morphe Holiday Edition palette, but today I'm gonna to be comparing it to the Huda New Nudes palette since I did get a few comments about uh, which one I would pick and I thought it'd be a good idea to do a similar look with the two palettes with the Huda on one eye and the Morphe on the other eye and just talk about each shade as I go through. Biggest difference is price. So for this huge palette by Morphe, it is $25 and there is a lot of people with discount codes. Um, it's probably going to be like 30% off in a couple weeks at Morphe. So, I mean, you could probably get this palette like half off, to be honest. Um, I use a 10% off um, code. I use Trend Mood when I checked out. So, <laughs> yes, $25. <sighs> Huda, $65. For this palette and there is a cream so this shade is called the concealer shade which you can use to like cut your crease or whatever but mine has pretty much completely dried out it's been probably I want to say about two years that I've had this palette so this shade just totally gone um, but I do still have all of the rest of the shades and I didn't film any swatches because I'm going to be showing you guys on my eyes how similar they look. So I'm going to be priming my eyes with the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow primer. Both of my eyes. I'm going to zoom you guys in and we're going to get into this. All right. So now we have our eyes primed. I'm first going to start off with the shade Lace from the Huda Beauty palette. So Huda Beauty, I do like the mattes a lot, but... I do think that they are pretty similar formula with the good Morphe eyeshadows. The main thing I have with Morphe is that I feel like a lot of their eyeshadow palettes are very hit and miss to where some of them, like the whole palette is good. Um, the Jeffree Star X Morphe palette, I feel like was totally random of which ones work which ones don't work and i had to exchange that palette because my first palette was way worse than the palette that i have now so the color that is comparable to lace in the morphe palette is called touchy feely here and i'll show you guys some swatch comparisons of these two shades on my hand in a second if you do like having a mirror the huda beauty palette does have a mirror in it so so far these shades do look pretty similar on the eyes i really don't think anybody would notice a difference i do think this shade is just a slight slight little bit more pink so these are the swatches this one is out of the huda palette this one is out of the morphe palette you can kind of see better on my hand that this one is a little bit more pink like I was saying. So the next shade I'm going to go into is Raw from the Huda Beauty palette. I'm just going to put this one in my outer corner. Now I would definitely use these palettes more for like an easy everyday or like spring kind of a look. Wouldn't really use this for holiday so to say, I would probably use the darker shades in each of these palettes for maybe... I'm going to go back in with a little bit of lace and blend out this shade. I would probably use this with the darker shades for like a more purpley fall look. But overall, I'm not really reaching for these shades on an everyday basis in the fall. And then a shade that I think is pretty similar in the Morphe palette is called Dating History. And I'm gonna put this in the exact same spot. These look so similar on the eyes. <laughs> I'm actually quite shocked. All right, we're looking pretty similar. 
And now I'm gonna show you guys the swatch comparison. Oh, they actually look a little different uh, swatched out on my hand. This is Huda and this is Morphe, but I feel like they both built up pretty well on the eyes to where they look pretty similar. I'm gonna take the shade Spanked from the Huda Beauty palette and I'm gonna run this underneath my lower lash line. And I'm also gonna put a little bit in my outer corner, kind of deepening this up just a bit. And then from the Morphe palette, there's actually two shades that are pretty similar to Spanked. So this is the shade Spanked and then both of these two shades look pretty similar. It is Love Story and Plus One on this top row here. So I'm gonna go in with Love Story. I feel like Love Story came off a little bit more plummy pink as the Huda one is a little bit more muted. So now I'm gonna go in with the shimmer. So these are the two shimmers. One is from Huda, one is from Morphe. And I do think the Huda shimmers are better then Morphe, this one is Huda, it's the shade Kinky, and this one is from Morphe, it's a shade with this bling. They do have similar tones, but I just prefer the one from Huda, just because it has a little bit more dimension to it. I do know some people don't like Huda's shimmer formula. I'm gonna be wetting my brush, but... I mean, it doesn't bother me. I quite like her shimmer formula. I use them with a wet brush and it did have a little bit of fallout. And the side also had a bit of fallout. So far, this is what the two eyes are looking like. I do think they look pretty similar. I do think that the Huda shimmer does have a little bit more pizzazz to it, but I mean, <laughs> 65 versus 25. So the next comparison is going to be my inner corner highlight. And these are the two. They're not really similar, but they're the most similar in the palette. So this one is Huda. It is Daydream. And this one is Morphe. It is called Major Seduction. And if you guys don't know, this is the palette that has it kind of like marbled. And that's the Huda one. And this is the Morphe inner corner. So definitely the Huda one has a lot more like glitter particles in there. And this one's definitely more like a shimmer, but that's the main difference. And then I'm just gonna take uh, the shade Bear, which is just a regular cream shade. And just gonna highlight my brow bone. And then out of this palette, I'm gonna take the shade Come Here Often. All right, before I put on mascara and everything, this is what the two different eyes look like. So definitely the matte do look pretty similar. I feel like the main difference is the shimmers and also you do get more shades um, in the 35XO palette, but if you don't wanna pay the price for the Huda palette, I do think this is a good option. And if you want more colors and you really like this kind of color story, I do think this one, but overall the shimmers, you just can't pass up but i'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup and i'll show you guys the completed look all right and this is the completed look with both of the palettes on my eyes let me know which palette you're more interested in let me know if you're gonna pick up the 35xo let me know if you already have the huda beauty one are you gonna skip on the 35xo let me know what your deal is but that is the end of this video if you're wanting all of the swatches for this palette and my first initial review i'll have that video right over here for you guys this video will be suggested to you by youtube my favorite video here we click on it and subscribe to my channel